have references to places and being away you know physically being far away from from people um, so I, I wrote quite a few of them when I was away and then when I came back I took pretty much a year off um, just to think about my feelings <laughs> write songs with them once I had five songs to do um, we came down to Baltimore here, Baltimore, West Cork. Some of them I had an idea of what to do, but most of them we really were just sitting in a room kind of figuring them out and working all day and all night and just falling into bed with my headphones on listening to what we'd done. I, I like the idea of coming here and sort of all being stuck in the same in the same hole together, you know, and, and be so well, it's a pretty pretty nice hole. <laughs> <laughs> you never have no way to go. One song, Nowhere to Go, uh, I was finishing it while I was here. And we just sat out in the grass one day and you know, I said, I think I finished that song I was noodling with. And uh, we recorded it that morning, I think. It was sort of really trying to get a shape to the songs that didn't have any shape before. It was just like a vocal line and then a really sort of simple um, accompaniment. We were in Wales for a week. We arrived over on the boat, got the boat to Hollyhead, drove 20 minutes to Brindurin. Such a beautiful sort of converted farmhouse in uh, a national park. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just a much more relaxed experience because we've done all that preparatory work and Joe Henry is such a calming presence. He's a southern gent. Listen, would you rather have like a chair and a bit of stool with you? Yeah. I'm sure you would. Yeah. 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 We were recording everything live so everyone was in the room together. The first record, I wasn't really good enough at the guitar to be able to play with everybody and not mess it up. You know, because of the way we'd rehearsed this record, it was much more of a live thing, and you know, sink or swim, really. And so, by the time we got to actually recording, I felt confident in being able to to do that, and so did everybody. Everybody felt, you know, that they were, were sort of ready to to really uh, put it down. Ross Turner is playing drums, and um, he, he always is just so tasteful. Uh, Lucy Wilkins played on the first record, but on this record she's much more involved. She arranged all of the strings. We had one day of overdubbing in the church studios in London, um, and Lucy was eight and a half months pregnant at the time. And she did say at the end of the day, she said, the baby has turned, the baby has changed position now <laughs> from all of the the sort of arduous um, stringing that she was doing. And then the baby arrived a week later. <laughs> so. <coughs> Gavin Glass um, has a much more prominent role in this record as well. On the first record, he came in and played uh, piano on a couple of songs. Whereas this one, he was such at the forefront of arranging all the songs and um, and he's such a wonderful player and he, uh, he plays piano and Rhodes and banjo and just everything that was required he, he can and, and does play on the record. Please welcome Lisa Hannigan. The album was done and uh, the artwork was done or was being done and just I, I really felt it was important for us to get out and play 
uh, for people and really kind of find find where the, the songs were going to sit. We did three months of touring uh, and straight away the new songs really seemed to to resonate at the gigs. I, I start off doing kind of half and half in the set list and then it's gradually become more of the new songs. I mean that's partly down to us obviously wanting to play the new songs more but I think I really think that they they're much more immediate and, and stand up a bit more. Well, with the artwork, when I, getting all the lyrics together, it seemed like, I mean, there was a lot of references to traveling and being away and being all over the world and yet still very rooted um, in home and places and people and time that, that, you know, was past. So I wanted to do something um, on maps. And so I, it's like a situationalist map, sort of a cultural map, which is the, the places that are most important to you. The front cover is uh, the three main places that I wrote the record. I'm really excited about all of the songs in the record, and I notice that you know when I'm doing a gig uh, and looking at the set list, and you know there's no song that I go oh. <laughs> when I see it coming up, when I see it looming, you know. So that's I think that's a really good sign.